In this demonstration, I'll explain to you how you can host your SPFX web part using Office 365 CDN. So it's all about the client side assets where we have to include them. So now we will see how we can take help of the Office 365 CDN URLs to host our SPFX web part. But we need to run a couple of commands. So for that, we need to install the SharePoint Online Management Shell. So this is a very simple installation. Please download this. And the URL for this, I have kept that for your reference in the readme.md file in this solution. You can see I have the URL here. So from where you can download the SharePoint Online Management Shell. Because basically this will give us, once you install, it will give us a PowerShell command prompt where we need to run a couple of commands to enable the CDN. So I have already installed my SharePoint Online Management Shell on the system. So what we can do, you can simply select and run this as administrator. So once you are inside the SharePoint Online Management Shell, we have to run these couple of commands here. So the first command is connect hyphen SPO service hyphen URL and then you need to supply the URL of your Office 365 admin tenant uh, admin site. So for your reference you can see my SharePoint admin center is running at this URL. So what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this command and run it at my PowerShell. So I'm going to simply copy this command go back to the command js uh, the node.js prompt sorry the SharePoint online management shell and uh, here we're going to run this command so the command looks like this connect hyphen spo service hyphen url and i will change this url to my admin center like this hyphen admin dot sharepoint dot com so the moment you try to press enter you are prompted to enter the credentials so let me type in these URLs and then simply supply the password so after I have supplied the password along with my credential the login name so you get back to this prompt so that means this instance is now connected and then you are able to do certain configurational settings which will affect this admin, I mean, which, which will affect this SharePoint tenant. So the next step is to enable the CDN for your SharePoint online tenant. So you can do that by running a command called as set hyphen SPOT, SPO tenant CDN enable, and then the hyphen CDN type as public. So simply select this command and uh, copy it and then come back to your SharePoint Online Management Shell and then run this command. So it, it is going to ask you are going to perform this action. I say A uh, S Y and then I press enter. Perfect. So now you can notice here the public CDN has been enabled and what are the different locations uh, where the CDNs have been enabled is client-side assets so which is what we are more interested in so we do have other enable locations for the master page as well as for the style libraries but what is really very important for us is this client-side assets location so once the CDN has been enabled you can basically verify by using a get command like we in the previous scenario we were using a set command so for example if I would have cleared my screen and you really want to know whether the tenant uh, the CDN has been enabled on this tenant or not you can run get hyphen SPO tenant CDN enable and then the CDN type is the public CDN so when I press enter now it returns a true value here because CDN has been enabled for my tenant right now perfect and you can also run a few other commands like what are the different origins have been enabled so if I run the last but one command SPO tenant CDN origins this time and then the public so this time it will show me the different origins of the different locations where CDN has been enabled so it is again the client-side assets style library and the master pages perfect 
and you can also see the CDN, which CDN policies are currently being enabled for you. You can run the third command, which is SPO tenant CDN policies. And then when I press enter, basically the different uh, file extensions so uh, that it will be listing out for you. So we have the JS files and uh, we have some images and these are the different possible extensions so that it that it is ready to hold it in those locations for you perfect so all these commands i have kept for a reference in the readme.md file of this solution okay so at this point of time so we did whatever needs to be done at the tenant level the cdn has been enabled at the tenant level now we simply have to ensure when when we are going to deploy our SPFX web part, we, we have to use this CDN so that uh, it doesn't have to really come from the SPPKG file itself. So you can notice now I'm back at my Node.js command prompt. We're going to simply go for a gulp clean and then we will be trying to build and then we'll be trying to package the solution. Because we're going to host this time through the Office 365 CDN, obviously hyphen hyphen ship has to be used by you. So now I'm going to say gulp build. And after this, we can go back and try to run the, the next command, gulp bundle hyphen hyphen ship. And then we will go for the gulp package solution hyphen hyphen ship. Perfect, so we're almost there. So we will now get a clean SPP KG file as well. Notice in this demonstration as well, we did not obviously change anything in the package solution.js. We're still trying to say include client side assets so still as true. So the reason is if your SPP KG file has got client side assets, but the tenant has CDN enabled, it will obviously be using it from the CDN. For any reason, if the on the tenant of the CDN is not enabled, then it picks up those client side assets from the app catalog client assets folder. So that is the reason we haven't changed this. So now everything has been done. So let's go back to our solution folder and we have the SPPKG file here. And then I'll go to my app catalog and uh, we're going to simply redeploy re this one more time. So I'm going to say replace it. Now, interestingly, we see a message again here, SharePoint Online. Now, you might be wondering, even in the previous example, when we have not enabled the Office 365 CDN, when the SPPKG file itself was deployed to the app catalog, even then we have seen the same message of SharePoint Online. So when I, what is exactly SharePoint Online here? It says is it can be your Office 365 CDN or it can be from the app catalogs, uh, your SPPKG file itself. Perfect. So now I'm going to say deploy this. And um, you can notice now my hosting through this solution has been deployed successfully and I don't see any errors. And I can simply go back to one of my page. Let me delete this web part and refresh this page. And we're going to put this web part one more time. Notice this web part has, I mean, this SPFX solution has already been installed. Now, for example, if I'm going to say add an app again, you can see that uh, solution what we have just deployed is not available here because that's been already installed. You can see here it's already been installed. You can see that from the organization. So we don't have to add it further. Perfect. Now let's go back to your site collection and uh, we have this page already htlocalserver.aspx and this is not having that web part for us. So now let's go ahead and try to edit this page and um, add your web part ht local server demo and the web part is working as usual like in the previous two scenarios but this time 
it is basically getting those client side assets from the CDN of this public CDN of your Office 365 tenant. Also, you should notice so uh, we are not running even Gulf Serve in this scenario like in the previous scenario. But where is where exactly we can prove that this time the client as, client side assets are coming from the CDN is if I can press F12 to go to my developer tools. I'm using Microsoft Edge browser. So when I go to my sources section, notice this time we have public cdn.sharepointonline.com. And when I expand this, I can see my app catalog. And then there is a client side assets folder. And that is having that GUID of your web part. When I still expand this, I can see my the web parts, the, the JS file, the main JS file for your web part. So this clearly indicates this time this is being served through your CDN. Also, you, when you expand this public CDN.sharepointonline.com and you are basically seeing the URL of your app catalog and then the client side assets. And this GUID is basically not of the web part, it is basically your package which is 1FD0, right? So if I can take you back to my uh, the Visual Studio code and then config and then package solution.json, you can see this is your package ID. So everything is getting served from this folder and from this URL.